Hey YouTube land, this is a key keeper here. I just wanted to make this quick video explaining how to check the automatic transmission fluid on a 2012 or comparable Chevrolet Impala car. This is the way I do it. It may not be the way you do it. Everybody's going to do things a different way. But this is the way that has worked for me and I wanted to share it in case anybody needed a refresher or was just generally curious. The first thing that I do is I start the car and I let it warm up to operating temperature. As you can see right here, this car is right where it usually runs temperature wise. So that tells me that the car is up to its normal operating temperature and thus the transmission fluid will be getting hot or is already up to its operating temperature more than likely. Some cars will take longer to warm up. Some cars will take less time to warm up. A good rule of thumb in my experience is about 10 to 15 minutes is what it usually takes for a car to warm up Although, it all depends on the outside temperature. Today's outside temperature is about 40 degrees or so. So, naturally the car is going to warm up quicker when it's warmer outside than it would if it was colder outside. Once I have determined the car is up to its normal operating temperature, I'll come around to the engine compartment and I'll find my automatic transmission dipstick tube with this particular application it's down here most cars will tell you either on the cap or the dipstick what kind of transmission fluid the car takes this particular application takes dextron 6 or it will tell you on the stick like i just said if it doesn't tell you what kind of transmission fluid the car takes, you can always find the information in your owner's manual or contact your local dealership, you know, Ford, Chevrolet, General Motors, whatever brand of car you have, contact that kind of dealership. Make sure you have your VIN handy and they should be able to tell you once they look it up. Once we have all that out of the way, Turn your cap counterclockwise or pull straight up and there'll be a gauge on there. This particular kind of fluid is really hard to see, but ideally you'll want your transmission fluid in the hash mark area about halfway up is typically where I like to put it. If not, you'll need to add fluid. The fluid on this car goes right in there. I do a little bit at a time. And then I put the dipstick back. If I've added fluid to the vehicle, I'll come back around to the vehicle. Come back around and get in the vehicle. I put my foot on the brake pedal and I run the car through all of its gear ranges leaving the shifter in each gear range for about five to ten seconds so the transmission fluid can circulate through the transmission thus that way I get an accurate reading and I keep doing that until my transmission level is where I want it and then I'm done so I hope this video helps anybody who's working on a 2012 or comparable Chevrolet Impala with their automatic transmission fluid. If you have any questions, comments, please leave them below in the comment section. Remember, be respectful, be kind, and if you like this kind of content, the kind of do-it-yourself, down-to-earth approach of the video, if you think I've earned it, feel free to subscribe. And as always, thank you for watching and have a great day.